And there's a nice little rock covered, a nice little rocky section with a little roof on it. I don't know why. We don't know why that's there, but it's there. Wait a minute. This is why it's here. This is actually a little naturally occurring spring. Apparently water drips out of these rocks and uh, accumulates right in this little pool right here. Sign here for it. Written in Korean. And here we're coming to some buildings. I don't know, I think this may be someone's private property. It just happens to be at the end of the trail. Yeah. Wooden shrine looking thing up there and no one over there and a little house with a car. And the concrete path continues down this way. I don't really know what will be down here. Squirrel in that tree over there has some stripes on his back and head, very different from the ones at home. A little hard to see. Uh, looks like the trail has kind of doubled back on itself. And here's a sign. Here's a, a sign on the trail right here. There's a black squirrel coming down that tree. All right, now that is a nice picture of the Buyo, uh suburb, not really a suburb, but the corner of town in Buyo where I live. And you can even see the orange uh, church steeple, which is right on the other side of the street from my apartment. Yeah, wow. I bet you could get a really nice sunrise picture there if you're out here early enough. And the trees are out of the way. If I can find a spot, it'd be a good sunset location. My goodness, these buildings right on the other side of this fence are Buyo National Museum, right by where I live. This trail has doubled around. It's almost taking me home. Wow. And here the trail comes right back out onto the street. You know, if you had a bicycle, this could be one extreme downhill trail. Make sure you stop before the bottom when you run out into the street going uphill. I'm not sure even our speedy electric bike back home could handle it. There's a nice shot of some more mountains in the distance. Here's the inside of the pavilion. Description inside the pavilion if you can see it. And here is uh, a large statue. Kind of looks like a big jar. Not sure if this would be a job for holding scrolls or what it would be. Oh. There's a lovely view of Buyo down below. There you go. Focused in. That is Buyo City. Oh yeah. And there's some mountains <laughs> off in the distance.
and this will probably be a really great spot for trying to get a, a sunset maybe tomorrow or the next day oh yeah here's the front end of the statue sheep kind of reminds me of the jar of the scroll or a shrine of the scroll in Israel but obviously this one has a uh, sculpture carved into it it's not holding anything here is a sign that goes along with that sculpture on nay we all Selma, something like that. Okay, uh, let's go on. And here is another set of stairs leading down. Well, these are wider than the other set was at the top. And now it's a dirt trail going down. Okay, why not? Well, dirt and rock trail, but it's wider than the one I came up, so hey. Actually, I think these roots uh, kind of help. Okay, and some more rocky trail. Yeah, now I think I'm gonna go around the side here. Yeah, just loads of fun. Yep, here we go. Now, some people could say this would be a really, really extreme challenge with a mountain bike, but uh, I know I wouldn't be anywhere near up to it. There's another shot of Buyo from this trail. And you can see the the uh, bridge right uh, right in the middle there. Okay. And now the trail is coming back down to that paved concrete road next to the history museum here in Buyo. Okay, this is the big golden statue at the intersection near where I live. Someone else was telling me recently that the streets do have names but they're not labeled. So we pretty much go by landmarks like this one. There's another large statue of a king and another one of a general on a horse nearby. <laughs> 